you want to start us off? You can go ahead. Yes, absolutely. So y'all just went three and O in Greece. How are y'all going to bring that energy to Lubbock? Yeah, I think our kids are excited. Um, it was a good week and um, our kids played with a lot of energy and um, a lot of unity, which was really fun. Um, but I think that they uh, got a lot of great playing time together and and learned how to win together. Um, you know, I think that's really important that they figure that out. So, um, so yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. They, they have a lot of fun playing and we were able to play at a high, a, a, a faster tempo. Uh, we pressed and, you know, had a lot of fast break, a lot of exciting plays. So I think they'll be really excited to, to be able to do that in front of their own fans. Absolutely. Um, is there someone that has stuck out to you specifically in Greece that you, you know, saw her doing well in practice, but then y'all got there and she just blew you away or has everyone been about the same with competition? I think they've all been playing really good. I mean, I think everybody's kind of had their moments. Um, you know, Jazz Lewis has been um, really dominant in the paint, which I think is, we knew that was going to happen. And uh, it was fun to see her be successful doing that. Um, <clears throat> I think Lana Winger had a really good um, week. <laughs> I think uh, she really played tough and, um, it, and it just showed a lot of aggressiveness, a lot of maturity over the past year. I think a lot of people will be really pleased with how, Hi, she's playing above the rim. Like she's rebounding at a high level um, off the rim. And I think that's, that's a really fun um, athletic ability to see her play with. Um, and then of course, our, I thought our freshmen played well. I thought that, um, I thought Bailey and, and Kyla both were really um, electrifying at times uh, with their athleticism. Um, they're just so fun to watch because they can jump high, run fast. You know, they've got long wingspans. They just make a lot of things happen. Um, you know, and then of course you're, everyone's going to enjoy watching Katie Farrell play, um, and just the energy and toughness and, uh, grittiness that she brings our, <clears throat> our team. Um, and then, um, gosh, I mean, I'm telling you, like, all of them played really well. I thought Riley McKinney uh, played really well and, and scored it well, and really has improved a lot defensively as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How have you seen your team adapt to the playing style in Greece? You're mentioning the other day you thought Bryn was about to get a, a foul and she got the point. How has it been watching them adapt? Yeah, it's been, it wasn't great tonight. I will tell you, it, uh, it got a little bit chippy at times um, because the, the travels are very inconsistent. Um, lane violations were very inconsistent. Um, a lot of contact on one end and not the other. So it was a little bit uglier tonight um didn't really understand the difference in what they were seeing but um but I thought our kids did a good job of playing at a fast pace and you could definitely tell that that, that um the European teams did not want to play at that rate yeah how has it been overall in Greece what an experience yeah, we've had such a great time I mean it has been a fantastic trip um, our guys, girls have done a great job of being very business-like on game day and, and making sure that they're ready to play and they, they took care of business on the court. And then we've had so much fun um, off the court and so many opportunities to just build um, some really tight bonds, great team chemistry, um, just making memories that are going to last a lifetime. They've been so gracious um, for the opportunity to be here and, and they've really soaked it in. I mean, we went on a on a food or like a Greece, um, Greek food tour, I guess is what you would call it um, today. And it was very long. Um, and it, I mean, we left at, I guess, nine this morning and didn't get back till four and we played at seven. So um, our kids really um, handled that well. And, but they were still, they didn't complain. They were very much into it. They learned a lot. Um, so I think they've taken advantage of the opportunity to, to learn about the Greek culture and, um, and really experience Greece to the best of their ability. They haven't laid around in the hotel. They've gone out and seen the sights and um, just had a really, really great time. And our um, tour guide has been fantastic. And uh, we're going to spend the day at the beach tomorrow. So we're all excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. How was that boat ride yesterday or yesterday? Amazing. Yes, it was amazing. And there were multiple times that you had aha moments like I'm sailing on a boat in somewhere close to the Mediterranean Sea and you know that you're in halfway around the world I mean it was it was incredible um beautiful waters um beautiful scenery and it, it, just a great great time that's awesome Ariel yeah. 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 
Yeah, we'll hop into. Uh, Coach, with all the new faces and additions to the team this year, how what was the most impressive thing about that team chemistry with all the new faces and new, uh, I guess, personalities too, in a way? I just love that they all get along. I mean, I think our upperclassmen have done a great job of welcoming, welcoming them in. I think our staff has done a great job of learning about them and recruiting the type of kids that we know will fit our culture and fit our philosophy. And, um, and they all just, they all are winners, you know, and they just want to win and, and, and can play together. Um, it really doesn't matter what group of people I put on the floor and what positions they, they just play hard and they play for each other. And, um, a lot of energy on the bench. Um, it's just been a lot of fun. Um, and, and, and that's what we've been doing. You know, that's what we, we recruited to. Um, that's how we build our culture. And um, this is just a really fun group. And our, our, I can't wait for our fans to get to see them play um, just because of the energy that they bring. But we literally were subbing five at a time and um, we're seeing no drop offs and um, just lots of good team basketball. And um, and they just all have a great time off the court, too. And, and you never see like, um, you know, the same group sitting together. I mean, and they all sit together when we have a team meal. It's not like you know, they're even separated. They, they just immediately gravitate towards one another. And that's kind of a rare thing these days. And, and I'm excited to see um, them buying into that. In the last time we spoke, you talked about maybe the, the team that I did this year would be defense. And how were, I was curious, how were they in transition? Um, how was that aspect of the game for you guys early on? Cause I know it's still a little, we're not in November yet, but how was transition? Sure. Yeah. Cause I mean, we've worked out for two months, but really 10 days at a high level, right? And, um, and a lot of new faces, but I'm really excited. The first two games, we held them to 40, um, you know, and, and that's a really good start. Um, tonight, it was 53, but, um, you know, I, like I said, it was pretty ugly there at times. Um, but I, I just think that they're buying into it. Our defense looks a lot better. I mean, the fact that we were able to press and cause some turnovers um, is huge for us because we're gonna need that at some point. Um, and, and we've just put in a couple of things. I mean, we just ran man and we pressed a little bit and, and ran a little bit of a, a zone that just to throw it in, just to work on. So we've got a good foundation set, um, going into the fall, but I'm really excited about getting back on the court with them and adding to what we've already learned. And we've just got a good head start, and, um, I'm excited to build on it. Do you think that this trip was a good, I guess, way to revisit the fundamentals with like boxing out, closing out, um, you know, good passes, you know, stuff like that? Absolutely. Yeah. This trip was great at just building our foundation of what we want to do offensively and defensively. Um, you know, I mean, we talked a lot about um, doing the little things, um, especially over the 10 days that we practiced and we didn't have a lot of things put in. So what we did, we had to do really well because it's not like we could go to plan B, you know, we didn't have a plan B for, uh, you know, if our offense wasn't clicking or if our defense wasn't working. So our, we really um, concentrated on the little things and the fundamentals. And, and I think our kids did a great job of understanding what our foundation is. And um, we'll just continue to build on that when we get back. And coach, what's the biggest takeaway you hope that the ladies can take just from this trip as a whole? Maybe it doesn't even have to pertain to basketball necessarily. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, number one, I think it's just um, the experiences that you can, that you are blessed with um, to be grateful for those. And, and uh, you know, it's amazing what basketball can do for you. And, and this is a, a perfect experience, a, a perfect example of that, of what basketball can provide um, for them, um, just experience wise, but also just the memories that they're going to make. Um, you know, I mean, everybody's relationships are going to be so much tighter because of this 10 days and really not just the 10 days in Greece, but the 10 days that we went and practiced beforehand, like they were hard 10 days. And so we already have learned that we can do hard things that we can push our bodies to, through tough times and, you know, and, and continue to get better. We can, they've learned how to win. Um, and I know that sounds silly when you just play three games in the summer, but, but it's true. I mean, they learned how to win and they, they want to win and, and, and they have fun winning and they, they enjoy the tempo that they're playing at. So I don't know that there's just one takeaway. I know that this was um, by design when we put this um, trip in. I mean, it's one of the first things that we installed when I first got the job and, and we did it for this group of girls. And, um, you know, we know that, that it's going to really help us um, in the, in the fall, just get it, like I said, get ahead 
when we start season. And um, I just think it's going to provide a confidence for our kids um, and, and also a kind of a responsibility, you know, I mean, it's like they didn't get to come to Greece just because, you know, um, Texas Tech decided to send them there. I mean, we have some great donors that stepped up and were able to provide this opportunity for us. And I think they're understanding how special the Lady Raider basketball is and um, to Lubbock and to Texas Tech and and the things that people will do for them um, that will prepare them to for their season, but also just for lifelong experiences. Coach, uh, was your mom on the trip with you guys? Yes, yes, she yeah. wasn't was gonna go. And then um, just like 10 days ago, she it, we kind of had a spot open up and my dad encouraged her to come. So it's just been fabulous to spend this time with her. Yeah, so how's that, like you said, how's that been with her, but also share it with Bryn too. I mean, it's her senior year too. So what an incredible thing. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty it's pretty unique to be able to, to do this with your family and um, to have these experiences. And, you know, Greece is a fabulous place and we really enjoyed getting to, to make these memories together. And this will be some precious time that we've had with one another. Um, and especially because my, my mom is, everybody calls her Mimi and uh, my entire team calls her Mimi. And so they've really um, enjoyed having her here too. And it's just been fun to watch. You know, it's, it's fun for them to see me um, in that light, you know, as a daughter and, and taking care of my mom really and, and giving her this experience. Um, because I think that that's something that, you know, women need to, to know is, is how do you take care of your, of, of your family members, you know, that, that you have a responsibility to do that. And um, hopefully Bryn's taking good, you know, notes as well. So she'll take care of me too. <laughs> but it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun, but such a blessing. That's awesome. I, I think we're good on this end. We're is, there, is there anything that you've learned in Greece outside of basketball, like you were saying, sharing this opportunity experience with your family? Is there anything that you have learned maybe outside of basketball, just personally? You know, um, I think it's interesting to, um, to just watch different walks of life, to be quite honest. Um, today, when we went on this tour, um, you know, we went to some villages, some small villages, and it's just really fascinating to see the different style, lifestyles that people live. And I think, you know, I think for our girls to see, um, and, and me too, I mean, it, all of us, that for us to see how other people live and other people's challenges and, um, you know, how they have to help themselves um, survive or live or thrive, um, is really important. And um, it, it's it's easy to get wrapped up in your own little world and to know that, you know, you can get milk around the corner at 7-Eleven any time of that day. And, um, you know, you can uh, get, go out to eat if you want to go out to eat and, um, you know, feed yourself and, and your family. And that's that's not always true in other places. And, and today, I think we saw some of that. Um, you know, we went to a bakery that um, this, this, grandmother and her daughter you know own this bakery and it's I mean old time big huge ovens that they bake these loaves of bread um you know like dozens and dozens at a time and they sell out of their bakery and that's their livelihood and just seeing some of that stuff is is interesting even even that just air conditioning like we played in three gyms that did not have air conditioning <laughs> and you know you get spoiled doing those things and so to know that you know, other people aren't getting those luxuries, I think is um, really important for our, um, for our girls and for all of us to learn and to, to know and, and just to be appreciative of what we have, but also be willing to give back to others as well. Anything else for Coach? Absolutely. Before? I think that's all I have. All right. I think we're good. Is there Thank a food you that you didn't like or What's anything that? that you're bringing home? Is there something that you're bringing home? Any food that you really okay. love that you stocked up on? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to buy another bag so that I can fit it all <laughs> in, and this I, they're not gonna be overweight. But yes, I brought all kinds of things back. Like, I'm super excited. We got today. We went to an olive oil plant, and um, so we all, everybody, the girls and everybody, bought a ton of olive oil, um, which was really cool because some of it was infused, like garlic infused, and chili pepper infused um, olive oil. And then there's these soaps that the, the olive oil is made from. And I mean, no, we're all, it's ridiculous. Like I'm going to have to go buy a bag tomorrow, <laughs> but it, it's been cool. The food's been awesome. I mean, there, it took us a little while to figure out what to order. 
Um, but once we figured out what to order and what we wanted, it's been great. It's been really good, which I love tomatoes and cucumbers. So the Greek salad is my favorite. 